Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Uh, so if you're like me, uh, it, it, you probably have a traditional sled uh, in your shop for your table saw. Um, this one has been in my shop for many, many years and still gets used from time to time. But I find myself more and more putting this one away and using the panel sled. Uh, if you followed me at all, you've probably seen this in a number of videos on the channel. So we're going to build a new one of these today. Um, and why a new one? Well, for starters, this particular one has a wooden runner on it. Um, and at this time of year, it's dry. So I tend to get a, just a little bit of slop uh, in the miter slot. So to fix that, I'm going to go to an HDPE slide. Um, and if you hit my Amazon affiliate page, I do have links to this stuff. Uh, the other thing that I wish this one always had was a stop block system. So we're going to add a stop block system as well. Uh, I do still love the, the center handle and this will be carried over to the new one uh, in a little bigger fence and whatnot to, to get all this. Okay, so I have a, a new base here. Now, I didn't actually have one that was big enough, so I used the domino and actually put two scraps of Baltic birch together. Um, it, it's not the best option, but at today's prices for Baltic birch, uh, I'll, I'll do that every time. Uh, as well, the old sled's going to be paid for. It's gonna go into another person's shop, so I didn't wanna rob all the parts from him, uh, so that's what we're gonna do. Uh, the, the fence on this one is going to be a piece of leftover African mahogany from another project. And I'll leave it long on one end and I'll just trim this uh, when we trim the whole thing. I like said we'll have the HDPE runner as well. It's going to have a stop block. If I can get it in here, right? There we go. go in something like that. So first thing up is to go ahead and mount this. You will see on the board itself I have already marked a line for where this runner is going to go and we'll move over to the table saw and we'll get this put in. Okay so this is really a pretty simple build assuming that your table saw is is set up properly your miter slot is square to your blade and, and your fence is square to those, then this becomes really easy. Um, now normally, when we install the runners, we put washers down in here, and put a dab of super glue on here and set it on and, and wait, and then we come back and square everything up. I'm gonna do that a little bit differently this time uh, because this HDPE slides so nicely in here and everything is square. I am going to actually mount this from the top side using my fence as the guide. Now I've set my fence to be just barely over the table saw blade, so we'll be taking just a smidgen off of this uh, when we're all done. But with that sitting here, I'm gonna go ahead and drive a few screws from the top. I am still gonna add the screws in the bottom because I found with the HDPE, if you over tighten a screw just a little bit, you can actually take slop out of uh, that runner if there is any slop. Okay, so with that runner all installed now, if you listen, I don't know if my microphone will pick it up or not, but there's just a little bit of slop in it. And we can take that out simply by mounting some screws in from the bottom side and using them to squeeze out the sides just a little bit.
Okay, so I've tightened up those screws on the bottom just to give me a little bit of squeeze out in that HDPE. And now everything fits in here and we've got no wiggle. So everything is as it should be. It still slides very nice. So next up, we just got to get the fence on and get it squared up perfectly. So with everything as square as I can make it, I'm going to go ahead and clamp this on. And then I'm going to drop a screw into each corner and then we'll do a test cut. I'm not quite sure how well this is going to show up on camera, but I'm going to try to, to get it on camera for you. This one up here looks like about 33. If we test the other end. to be about 32 so a thousandth of an inch over the 12 inch length of this um, I think I can I can live with that for square for woodworking okay so now with everything good and square all I have to do is go ahead and put some more screws in this to make sure that it's firmly held Okay, so the only thing left is just to mount uh, my stop block rail here. Uh, and I've already put the first two in, um, but it's really not too hard to pilot drill a couple of holes and sink some screws. All right, so the last thing I want to do to it is to put my handle on it. And I'm just going to use a T-bolt up from underneath. Um, and we'll recess that in there so it doesn't drag. Uh, but I'm going to start with just a pilot hole all the way through. Now we can flip this over. Drill the recess for the head of the bolt. And now we can remount that hole. There it is.
Well, there you go, guys. A quick down and dirty panel sled. Uh, like I said in the front, frankly, I use a panel sled way more than I use my traditional sled. Uh, just super handy. I can get much wider material in it uh, and everything is to the one side of the blade, so lining up for your cuts is super easy. Um, it's not as heavy, it's easier just to move around. I do prefer Baltic birch uh, for the base, and I do prefer hardwood for the fence, and I do prefer an HDPE runner. And I'm super excited to now have a stop block, so um, just a little upgrade, but I hope you guys got something out of it. Again, if you're going to make you know, your first crosscut sled, I would go this way. It's, it's frankly, it's just way more functional. So there you go, guys. Until next time. Take care.